guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is vicky and i'm making this video from lagos nigeria so guys welcome back again to the channel so today's topic we are just going to be talking about marriage you understand there are a lot of expectations in marriages there's a lot, a lot of things people expect in marriage there are a lot of things people people think they know even those who are not married think they know you understand the single ones feel like ah if i get married this if i get married that you understand some of the expect expectations and some of the myths that are not so true about this whole marriage of a thing you understand because sometimes we all get it twist twisted especially when we are single you understand we just write a whole diary down like we write a whole novel down of what marriage will be how it will be how we'll do this how we'll do that or how that 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 whatever it is you understand so i'm going to be giving you guys five myths that are really not so true in marriage you understand but we all we are thinking that we we all thought it was true you understand but for we were married that's what i'm trying to talk about so before we get right into into this video i want to thank you guys for clicking on this video to watch and if you just seen my face for the very first time please consider to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that youtube will inform you whenever i post a new video and if you're my old g's like my old subscriber like you guys are dope like you guys are the real mvp you guys have been amazing so far you understand thank you so very much for coming back to watch my video i really appreciate you guys i am super duper grateful you understand like i feel like kissing all of you one after that after the other like mwah, mwah, mwah. thank you so very much guys for the support for the love for the comment the likes you understand like who i be as in like sometimes i wonder who am i you understand thank you so very much guys for always watching my video i am grateful there is no me without you here on youtube so thank you so very much i am really grateful so guys if you really want to hear some of those myths that are actually not true about marriages you know please keep on watching this video number one of those myths that actually doesn't feel like sorry about the noise guys that actually are not true is concerning marriages like some of those myths that we actually talk about is marriage will change you guys marriage will not change you <laughs> like some people will feel like some people certain things that people do in marriages you understand or in relationship that they are going to change when they get married you understand if they think that there are some attitude that you have or that your partner has that will change when you get married right right it's not going to happen that's a big fat lie marriage does not change anybody the only aspect that marriage can change you is you as you know when you in the part of when you have children do you understand but to think that your personal attitude like your habits marriage will change nothing about you because change actually come with a conscious decision it doesn't come with your status do you understand so don't even think that marriage is going to change how you see things marriage is going to change how you look at things marriage is going to take change how you behave marriage is going, marriage does not change anybody it is a personal decision if you change when you get married or anybody who has changed when they got married is a personal decision they took to actually change but the status itself does not change anybody so nobody should just lie to you that marriage is gonna change you or i'm gonna change when i get married like, that's a big lie it's one of those myths that are actually not true guys they are absolutely not true because one will just change through personal decision and deciding to grow personally you understand so another of those myths that are actually not true is marriage is so beautiful like you see people just coming oh marriage is so beautiful you understand Mar ah there are down moments in marriages please the, nobody should just deceive you understand yes it's a beautiful thing but not as beautiful as you guys are assuming you understand oh marriage is so beautiful the marriage is sweet yeah but not like people are exaggerating because we have our ups and down people have their ups and down it's not all, every time rosy it's not every time happy you understand so when you say marriage is beautiful there there is a tendency of you tasting that and uh, that sour moment you understand because that's the aspect of life life, life is full of ups and downs you understand so don't even have the impression that if you get married or oh, you're going to be living happily every day every day every day every day because we have misunderstanding with our siblings family members quarrel so don't even think that when you get married to somebody who you have a different background with who you don't even know 
as in who you just melt in your ad you just met in your adulthood will will it will all be so beautiful there are down moments um don't don't get me wrong i'm not saying that marriage is not beautiful it's a very beautiful thing but there are down moments where you feel that you feel down like you, you it's not so enjoyable anymore you don't just feel like god i feel like i can't i can't opt out you understand that kind of a thing so just have that at the back of your mind and number three myths that people have about marriages is oh the most the first year is the most difficult year you understand people have that means you know when people keep saying that ah if you cross over the first year of your marriage you're going to live uh, live together for long or you're going to live together happily ever after or the first year is the most difficult it is not so for all marriages yes some marriages the first year can be difficult for them but it's actually not so you understand because some people can start experiencing their difficulties after five years some people can start um, experiencing their difficulties after two years some people after 10 years some people it just depends on individually you understand some people actually truly do feel difficulties in the first year of marriage you understand but not everybody so nobody should make you feel like okay the first year of marriage so you just carry that thing in your mind that the first year of marriage is the difficult part of marriage that's not true you understand it doesn't happen for everybody yes it actually does happen but it is not for everybody it does not happen like that as always you understand so just be open-minded and don't feel like okay as i'm getting married in 2020 or i'm getting married in 2021 oh the whole of 2021 will be my most difficult years it possibly might not be you understand so the first year of marriage is not the most difficult because as you grow together you keep seeing things about each other that you have to fix that you have to learn that you have to study you understand so you can't tell me you're using just the first year alone to learn all those things or the first year alone is what you're using to learn and it's making you feel as if it's so difficult or you're you're using the first year alone to adapt you understand some people take a longer time to adapt to certain situations because the status of being married needs a time to adapt to it you understand that you're dating and you're even living together is different in both marriage is a commitment you understand so you need time to get used to that commitment so some people take a longer time you get so it doesn't necessarily have to be the first first year alone so some people at snap of finger they've already they are they've already you're already into the whole thing you understand and some people they might just go numb and then all of a sudden it's, it just hit on them do you get so it doesn't necessarily have to be the first year and then another of those myths about marriages that might probably not be true is when you get married you will be having sex every day oh <laughs> hey let me know i see if i want watch this video he's going who what says who that's not true you know when 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 you're single we lost after each other you want to eat each other up when you see your guy when you see your girl you guys want to eat each other up and you feel like okay when we get married ah this is going to be every day we are going to be banging every day we're going to be doing this every day that see <laughs> that is not true you understand because sometimes it is tiring sometimes it is like a chore that like sometimes you just feel like oh my god this is like a chore this is this is work do you understand so don't feel like okay because of how you feel when you just met each other and you're spending three four five hours together you have to go back to your different houses you feel like okay so if we are like this as we are in this hour it, it that means every day we are going to be doing it is it's not true sometimes you can even stay two weeks one month not everybody anyway so some people it's it's not true when when you be like ah when we get married it is like like so some people will be like okay maybe you see new couples who just got married you understand and you're like mm. you're feeling in your head like ah this woman will be having sex every day every day every day every day that is not true my dear when you now know that that property is yours you wake up every day beside that person that will always not be in your head the way it is as you guys are dating and you feel like we have to get it done when we just see each other. We have to eat each other up. We have to smooth it. Mm -mm. It's not actually going to be like that. So that is not true. Sex every day is not true in marriage. It is very difficult because at times you're so tired and it looks like it's like a duty. It's like an obligation. You understand? So it's not like it's something you're like, ah, okay, my body is treating me like it normally. Mm, it, <laughs> it, it might really not be like that. So just get that one off your head you understand yes you will have fun yes you guys will enjoy yourselves but at some point maybe in the beginning part of your marriage you might just be enjoying yourself every day but after a month my dear 
you want to kill yourself you want to die eh? you want to die so you have to recuperate and know that this thing can happen when it happens but it's not really an everyday affair like we always think that ah it's gonna be every day oh ask a married woman or ask your married guys that are out there you understand if they're actually doing that in every day you understand <laughs> So the last but not the least things that we actually, the myth that we are actually thinking about marriage and that uh, is actually not true. Like not really not, as in, I don't know if the word not true, it's like that is not really mandatory is that, ah, when I get married, as a lady, you'll be saying when I get married, I'll be keeping everything hot and sexy. <laughs> you'll be feeling like you know some people now and then when you see a man cheating on a woman some people go with the excuse that the woman is not dressing up properly the woman is not this the woman is not that, that. ah when me i get married me i'm going to be hot and sexy me i'm not going to be tying rapper me i'm not going to be doing this me, i'm not a rapper time person i don't even have rapper yes that's true i wear shorts most of the time but you see keeping up with being hot and sexy babe Let's not even deceive ourselves because when you see your husband finish and he sees you finish, sometimes what you would have actually not done when you guys were dating, you would just be so relaxed. You know when you feel at home? You know that thing when they say, babes, they eat in a certain way when they are home and they eat in a certain way when they are outside. It is the same thing in marriage, you understand? So don't even think that I'll be keeping it everything hot and sexy. I'll be sexy. I'll be putting on bum shorts. I'll be putting on bralettes. I'll be doing this. I'll be doing that. That's not true. At times, you just want to re you just want to relax and be taken care of you understand let's just bring mercy into this whole shit you get so that's just basically the thing so don't just let's not just be saying that ah i'm gonna be hot i'm gonna be sexy every day of my life as i'm getting married this blah 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 these married women they are living themselves they are not taking care of themselves they are doing this oh yeah now do you know that even that married woman that you're even talking about she's she even talks more than you that how sexy and how good looking she'll be looking but when the issues of life when so much responsibility come your way ah you know that keeping up with being hot and sexy eh, is a full-time job and <laughs> you have other things to do you get that's not me saying that you can't do it or you shouldn't do it you have to consciously look good but don't keep that thing in your head like oh i'm going to be all sexy sexy every day every day i'm going to be ah breathtaking every day sometimes you will slack that's what i'm trying to say now sometimes you will slack behind so don't even deceive yourself or don't even think that the married woman that you see that has started tying rapper now did not have plans of always being sexy like you're having plans now you understand so that's just the thing i know you guys have so many meats those are my married those are my married um, viewers you have meats that we know we talked about we talked about way before we got married that ah it's going to be this it's going to be that that when i get married and then you got married you're not even seeing there's no feasibility of it you're not even seeing it happening so leave it in the comment section i really like to hear your own talk your own meat that you know that is actually not true 100 percent you understand so that's just the thing i want to hear from you please leave it in the comment section and if you have been watching me up to this time and you have not subscribed to my channel please am i owing you how much is it now talk 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 so that i'll pay you how much am i owing you eh are we quarreling are we fighting are you beefing me please now hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to the channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that youtube will inform you whenever i post a new video and i will also thank those of my own subscribers who have watched me up to this point thank you so very much guys you guys are amazing you know thank you thank you thank you i'll love to hear from you i would like this video to be interactive leave your comments down below and i will see you guys in my next video stay safe and stay out of trouble bye for now bye